Hello. <clears throat> um, but today I'm here to talk about uh, the conversation. Um, um, I don't own the film right now, but I was able to stream it um, despite um, earlier um, how I talked about how I was really able to get the uh, film through streaming because of internet problems, but thankfully that's all solved. And um, yeah, so I've rewatched this movie and um, it's still very good. Um, you know, the movie is about uh, Harry Call, who uh, is a surveillance expert. And he is hired to listen in on a and record a conversation between two people, and then just get back to the person who it was, who you know commissioned it, and then you know, he'd receive his payment. Um, oh, while he, uh, you know, it's very he's very uh, private. Um, got like a girlfriend who he <clears throat> doesn't tell anything about himself to um, when it comes to other people in the field who have like uh, surveillance and security and um, that he doesn't um, you know he's not interested in uh, divulging into how he does certain things, like how does he um, bug certain things that otherwise basically could never be bugged. Um, yeah, he, he's just a very private person. Um, he is very, just very secretive. And um, Gene Hackman is incredible in this film. Um, it also has John Cazale, who Fredo Corleone, the Godfather films. Um, um, this film came out um, same year as The Godfather Part Two. Um, I believe it came out just before, or some months before Godfather Two. But of course, you know, this film is really not talked about much due to the fact that it's between first two Godfather films and. Um, you know, it's one of Coppola's um, best films. Um, may not necessarily be his best, uh, you know, depending on who you are and what you uh, think of his films, you know, overall. Um, but uh, it's definitely a movie that is worth watching. It is worth um, watching because it's very interesting. You know, it has people like, you know, Harrison Ford before he was famous. Cindy Williams, uh, Robert Duvall, um, and it's just an excellent film, uh, very well written, and, and, how, and it's interesting how, so, in various ways, the whole surveillance and bugging and everything and that you see in the film is very reminiscent of how it was done at the time, and now, in a lot of ways, it's paralleled, um, reality. Um, which Coppola thought was quite frightening when he found out how, you know, those who did, like, Watergate were, um, used similar tactics as seen in the film, you know, just how he, how well he was able to, you know, how accurate it, uh, it was to reality, because, you know, obviously it's, you know, it is fixed, but it's also in the real world. But just how accurate that it became and was, was just shocking to Coppola. Um, I really think he uh, uh, made an excellent film. Um, it's rated PG, um, which something, you know, um, which during this time, you know, in the, in the whole... Um, idea of surveillance and you know, spying on people and recording their 
uh, what's being said from far away and also close and everything of the sort. You know, and even today, it's still not all that far off. Um, it's amazing how accurate it was back then. And also in, in ways, you know, still was fairly accurate in terms of like spying on people and like bugging and such. Um, though of course today's world is more advanced and, um, you know, it's just, it's just, it's a very good film. Um, I know I'm kind of being fairly coy <laughs> about this, but it isn't one that's the uh, most talked about, you know, it isn't uh, talked uh, about a lot in circles. So as a result, I'm not gonna really talk about what all happens um, uh, in terms of like any spoilers or anything of the sort. Um, even though it is, you know, over 40 years old, there's still, you know, many people who may not have seen this film for one reason or another. And so if you haven't, I don't want to spoil anything, um, but it is very good. It's, it's, uh, it's just excellent from beginning to end. The film itself is, uh, you know, just amazing. It's, it's underrated, but it's definitely deserves to be talked about more. Um, Gene Hackman's performance is excellent. Um, I don't know where I would rate this in terms of his performances, but it is definitely uh, amazing. Um, though I will say off the bat, I do, I think I enjoy his performance uh, more than Popeye Doyle in The French Connection. Um, and he was very good in that film. But I just, I think that this is a better film. It's, you know, he's very quiet, but you know, there's also a lot going on with the character. Like you could, uh, just you know, you, you can just tell uh, his mind's just going uh, throughout the film. He's like very paranoid, obviously, but still a very good character and excellent performance. Kazale was also great, um, but he was great in all the films he was in. He was only in five films, six if you count the footage reused in the Godfather Part Three, um, and also. This film got nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture, which Coppola lost to himself to, for The Godfather Part II. Um, also nominated for original uh, screenplay, did not win that. Uh, Coppola, though, won adapted screenplay for Godfather II and director for Godfather II. Um, uh, forget offhand what else it was nominated for, but you know, it. You know, the accolades it received, nominations, you know, I think it's well-deserved. Um, it got nominated at the Cannes Film Festival. Um, I can't recall if it won offhand, might have, um, but don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. Um, I do believe it was at least nominated for maybe the Palme d'Or or other similar uh, top prizes, you know, if it didn't win any, it was at least nominated. And um, yeah, it's just like, you know, I just finished watching it. So, you know, I really wanted to make sure I got this out there, but it's just really, a really good film. It's very, it's just not talked about much. And I think that's a shame. I think this should be talked about more. Um, of course, you know, being sandwiched between first two Godfather films. It's probably the big reason why people don't really talk about uh, the conversation much. Um, you know, it's a, it's an excellent film. Um, but we'll see what the conversation goes. Like, it's clear that, you know, you know, the woman believes she's, the phone's being tapped and, you know, could be killed person got the chance to do so um I can't ever got the chance to kill them and uh kill them both and uh that's that's something that's very important that you know may or may not be misinterpreted you know depending on how the film you know ends 
um, Cindy Williams plays the woman who's being uh, uh, listened to and everything. It's just, it's very, very, just very good, well done. Um, it's definitely a film that is, uh, it deserves the praise it has received so far, but also I think it deserves more. Um, I don't necessarily think I would put this above the Godfather films necessarily, um, especially the ones released around that time. Um, but it is definitely up there for uh, Coppola. Um, uh, underrated, um, perhaps underappreciated also. I mean, excellent from beginning to end, well made, and um, you know, it's, Coppola really loves this film, and you know, I, I, I completely understand. It's an excellent movie. Um, I think I believe I read where uh, Gene Hackman said this was his favorite film he made, um, and uh, yeah, it, it's just excellent. It's an excellent film from beginning to end. It's just incredible. Um, again, sorry for not really going into all the details, but considering this isn't a hugely discussed film in, in, st in that a lot of ways is still underrated you know on the off chance you haven't seen this movie i recommend you watch it it's on amazon prime if you have uh if you have that um so if you don't have the dvd or the blu-ray like myself uh you can stream it um and yeah uh, whenever i have an opportunity i'll probably get this on uh Amazon, it's or somewhere, it's fairly affordable. But you know, at the same time, it's like you, uh, if you just want to watch it and see for yourself, it is on Amazon, and you have uh, the opportunity to see a, a unique movie, one that uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just special. It's an excellent film. It's, a, it's really great, and it deserves as much uh, love as it can get. You know, it deserves even more love. You know, it's 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 just one of those movies that's fantastic from beginning to end. Uh, I love this film. Um, it's been years since I saw this last, and my last I like wanted to get it. You know on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever, but, you know, things happen, and, you know, I've got other things, too, like other films probably around that time, so, you know, sometimes it's like, you know, something that's new or something that you, like, want, and then like, oh, I'll just get that soon, it'll, it won't be that long, and then, of course, that was, like, some years ago, I still don't own it, but, Thankfully, I was able to watch it, and it was great to watch. I'm just happy. Uh, I got to see this again. And, uh, the person who asked if I would watch it uh, again and talk about this, I, I mean, I do enjoy it. I think it's excellent. It's great. While other kind of uh, positive things you can say about it, it's, it deserves as much love as it's received, and again, that, that, to reiterate, it deserves even more love. That's the kind of film it is. Um, I don't know if cult following would fit this film. Um, it might. Um, but if it doesn't have a cult following now, I think it should have one. It's one of those movies that definitely deserves to be looked at and watched and just in, just enjoyed for what it is and also it's just well made from beginning to end and yeah i just think it's fantastic um that's really it that's all i got to say it's an excellent film i'm happy to re watch it i'm thankful for to the person who commented about if i'd want to talk about this or not and and I'm, I'm 
I'm happy I saw it again and talking about it now. It is definitely one that, um, if you have not seen, I'm happy to have not spoiled anything because it's, it's fascinating from beginning to end, I think. Um, again, that could be me, but, um, it's just, just the dialogue and the performances and just the overall plot is just fascinating, I think. Um, and Coppola, you know, this was like around his peak, you know, in the 70s. Um, of course, Apocalypse Now would come after this film and uh, Godfather 2. But this film is truly excellent. Um, people may not rank this as highly as first two Godfather films or Apocalypse Now but it's definitely in the in deserving to be in the conversation for sure. <laughs> no pun intended, but you know this does deserve to be talked about as much as possible, I think. And um, hopefully, it shall it will be discussed more and more uh, as time goes on. And uh, yeah, I hope it gets as much love as it can because it definitely deserves it. And that's really all I have to say. Otherwise, I'll just be repeating myself, and that's not fun to watch or listen to. Um, so, yeah. Hope you enjoy this spoiler-free discussion. Um, if you've seen it, you can comment what you think about it. If you haven't, uh, if the film sounds interesting at all from whatever I've said, um, or if you've looked this up afterwards and you think it sounds interesting watch it i i would recommend you watch it um if you have amazon prime you can watch it for free um and then if you like it buy the blu-ray or the dvd because it's i think it would be worth having and uh, i hope to get it someday and uh yeah it's just worth uh it's just definitely worth uh watching and know enjoying so yeah i hope all of you are having a great day hope all of you are having a have had a great week hope you all have a great weekend you know it's the beginning of a new month so i hope your month will be great hope everyone's month uh <clears throat> last month was great too and um yeah i shall uh i'll see you all next time